This is Vini TV. We don't know nothing about anything, if even that, but one thing's for sure. We drink wine every day, and I think you should do it too. Every single day. Today is a special day for all of us, including you, me, everybody. We have a, one of our oldies back, the first robbery master of wine in the world, Mrs. Chances. <laughs> What's actually coming up? I took She's a, a squirter! <laughs> I took a bath with her. Disgusting. By the way, it's good to have you back, Chances. Uh, am I really talking to a robot duck? Yes, I am. Uh, <laughs> good to have you back. And uh, I would kiss her with that mouth. <laughs> <laughs> with those rubbery lips. Anyway, uh, people will be asking uh, what are we doing uh, on our spare time because we're not always drinking wine. Though it may appear like that, but it's not really the case. So, what are you doing on your spare time? I actually like reading comic books. And for that special occasion, I actually put on the first shirt I ever wore in the first episode of Winnie TV, my Spider Man shirt. I find that extraordinarily infant and childish because <laughs> myself, my hobbies include a lot of reading. Word classics like this, uh, well, it is a classic by Margie de Sade, The 120 Days of Sodom. So if you want to read about syphilis or sodomy, this is the book you have to, you have to do. But I mean, there's not really a big difference between that and Spider-Man. I mean, Spider-Man wears spandex and shoots spiderweb from his ass. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing. And if right? you know the book, you probably know that they wear it too. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's basically contraband. <laughs> Anyway, so we actually have some wine today from Italy. No Sodoma there, I think. Or is there? <laughs> well, I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Cheers to Italy. <laughs> and I thought we should start with the white one. And this is uh, a producer called Contra Suarda. I have to say already before tasting the wine that I love the label. I mean, it's brilliant. Well, can you show the? It's it's simple, kind of like you. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just hear what I think I heard? Point proven, <laughs> basically. <laughs> yeah. That was just five seconds there. <laughs> yeah. well, it took me quite a long time. Huh? And anyways, uh, so this is from Veneto region, if I remember correctly. And it is made from a very funny, funny like ha ha funny. Very funny. Very, uh, a grape variety called Vespaiolo. Never heard. Vespaiolo, it's in the, in the, in the, in the down corner. Come on, actually. You know, let's tell the truth. The, the Sodoma book was actually the cameraman's, which kind of worries me. Yeah. He's awfully silent all the time and looking <laughs> us with those pervert eyes. To, to be honest, it's quite quite difficult to open all the, all of the pages. You know, Ew. you can just only open every every third or so. So I usually have the same problem with the Spider-Man. Please, Ville, what? Keep your hobbies to yourself <laughs> from now on. So Vespaiolo grey variety white grape. Uh, Usually, I think it was used for making these pasito sweet style of wines. Okay, so before I bash the wine, do you have a disclaimer to make? Uh, did, did we get this bottle from an uh, importer or from uh, the winemaker? Or? No, actually we got this from the winemaker. I, I met them quickly in, in, in Italy, you know, the big uh, wine circus in Italy that takes place every year. And they were kind enough to send us a few bottles of wine to, to see what we think of it. And uh, here's a few of them, uh, white and the red. Thank you. On the nose, it's a bit like Garganega, the, the typical variety of Soab region. Uh, You're a professional. Try to pronounce it. Garganega. No, <laughs> Garganega. I almost know my Italian. Uh, it's quite neutral on the nose, some florality going on. Uh, you know, to be honest, I don't know if I've ever tasted a 100% uh, <laughs> Vespaiolo before. I never even heard about the fucking great you variety. Know, really TV. we're learning, you're learning. Well, I don't know about you, but we're learning. <laughs> we're sort of uh, bouncing back. We are a bit retarded to begin with, so it shouldn't yeah, be it's that a, difficult. It's a culture of regress. Mm. But anyway, uh, the nose is good. Um, it has this kind of like bee waxy thing on the nose. Let's taste it. It's nice, sippy acidity. Actually, the structure is totally different than I expected. Just there you go, chances, and uh, that's the <laughs> reason why you're all, already all the time, yeah, <laughs> dripping wet. <laughs> Thanks you for uh, <laughs> pointing that out. <laughs> Who's licking the table afterwards? I think Thank it's your you turn. For that image. 
Yeah, anyway, the structure is totally different than I expected. I expected something full body like a Pinot Gris style, a fatty style, with a lot of viscosity, but no, it's actually zippy acidity going on. It is full body, but there is this light, lovely piercing acidity that sort of uh, holds it together. So, for me, this is kind of a uh, white wine style that I really prefer. It's When it comes to aromatics, it's not the most complex in the world. I mean, it's, it is quite neutral in a way, but you have this kind of uh, herbal thing going on. But the acidity was surprising for me as well, and I, I, I must admit, uh, I love acid in all of its forms. I love LSD. <laughs> anyway, it's not the most complex wine on the planet. No, nowhere close. But it sort of have this honest character. It's not the most complex, but it, what it does, it does really well. That's mm. what I think, so I give it a thumb up. Mm. You know, the okay, famous anyway. thumb in the butt. Uh, Let's continue. We don't have a I kind of like afternoon. I, I I'm kind of in two ways between it. I, I find it, it could, could be. I think it's a food wine. What do you think? Yeah, I do. Yeah. But I, I, you know, yeah, I'd combine with uh, something like a yeah, no, you don't. Poultry, chicken style of uh, food. Something like that bit broiler. broiler. Yeah, like a broiler. <laughs> don't eat broiler. It's shit. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, what would, what, what would you combine it with? Uh, for me, it's not like a salad wine, it's more food. No, wine. no, definitely McNuggets and then. You know. <laughs> sure, sure, McNuggets. <laughs> Noodles. <laughs> I mean, this guy is not a Michelin chef. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. Oh. Why did you have to take that away from me? <laughs> oh. Anyway. So you use the back drive, although you don't have a car. Basically. I don't know what that means. Okay, the, the white, white wine was pretty good, so. Now I'm almost scared that the red wine wouldn't be as uh, as good. Don't be scared. Yeah, I'm, I'm, come, come I'm. with me if you want to live. Uh, the name is Il Saggio. Saggio, and there's a probably a quite nice quote on the label. It's a it's a nice label, but I don't understand what it says because it's in Italian. How unconsiderate! And uh, it's the Vindimia 2006. Il vino non filtrato, so unfiltered wine. I mean the the. Aromas are pretty good. You have a uh, full-bodied uh, red fruit. And then if you, you have, say uh, pretty good one more time, I will smack you. Oh, it is pretty good. <laughs> then you have uh, these peppery notes going on and some even slight hint of uh, like bell pepper, which reminds me a bit of uh, some Merlot they make at the Veneta region, or maybe even Carmenere from Chile. But it's not uh, troubling. It's really like a slight. I hear the guy's ears burning when you say that it smells like Carmenere. No. But I actually agree. You have the same pyrazines. I mean, it, it is definitely spicy, and I'm kind of curious because there's no uh, there's no grape varieties on the label, and I tried to look on their website, but again, it was all in Italian, so I couldn't understand. It might have some Cabernet Franc, aka Carmenere, because of the history. Many wines of the region are still called Cabernet Franc, even though they're not Cabernet Franc; they're made out of Carmenere. Really? Yeah. Info strike. Okay, if that was too much information, please let us know. Give us a comment and we will stop being informative. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we don't do good in the informative thing. No, definitely, it's not that style. But I mean, it has, its, it has a nice grip on the palate. Uh, it's not, I wouldn't say that it's full body, it's kind of medium plus plus. Uh, kind of nice and round um, and a nice acidity as well. I, you know, I don't, want, I don't want to sound like a cheerleader, which I am. I don't want to be the guy who's always saying, yeah, this is super, extremely good, great, but I do find this one really pleasant. I mean, I look for a bit more of uh, tannins and even more acidity, but at the moment, if you have this spicy nose and you still have this pure, clean taste on the palate, I think you've sort of succeeded in making a decent, good wine. So I will give this one like a thumb sideways, but a little bit up, like a, in, sort of in the middle, not up, but Close. I feel like the thumb has already lost its meaning <laughs> yeah, way much. back, but I, I I partially agree. I think it's a it's a it's a good wine. Uh, again, a food wine because of the acidity and the tanning grip. And I would really, really, really curious now about the grape varieties because it's it's haunting me, and I would like to know what it is. And the alcohol is moderate, thirteen point five. So that's I mean you don't even mm. think about that because it doesn't come out anyways. Uh, but yeah. If you know what grape varieties this wine has, please let us know. Mm. 
Anyways, do you drink wines from Veneto? And again, the great question that he has. Put your comments down below. And again, you see the share button down below. Click it, share it, plus one, like, tweet, whatever. And, and, and we like you even more. Yeah, feel free. And I now think I'm, uh, it's time for a bath. You are not invited, but uh, see you next time. Seriously?